Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sunesha and we are playing this War of Wine and we are at A7 here. So last night we went to uh, an apartment building where people uh, was living in, so we was avoiding them, but we still got some useful stuff to get here. So yeah, let's run to, let's first send Bruno to cook some food and then I will send you Okay, so let's make two food. <laughs> okay, cool. So, uh, I will feed Marco first here so we can send him directly to the bed so he's fresh for uh, to the bed tonight scavenging. So, yeah, that's the plan. Then I will feed Pavle here. Okay, cool. So let's send him to bed. And Bruno uh, will make a por uh, one food to himself. Okay, cool. So now we can finally make the hatchets here so we can start destroying our furniture for wood and firewood here. So let's, yes, cool. Let's make that happen. Maybe I sent him to sleep on the floor. That was probably a mistake for me. You have to check that thing at the map, the win map part of the game where you decide where they are so they don't sleep on the wall because he has slept poorly here. Okay, cool. So we can start destroying things here. So let's start by going all the way here. As you can see, we are chopping up our wood here, so that's awesome. Uh, we got five wood and three firewood, so yeah, this will be helpful. Okay, let's try to get this too. Because we, uh, I'm gonna use this wood to board our place up because this is one of the easiest place uh, time to get a lot of wood. Uh, so yes, as you can see, we get a lot of wood doing this because it only costs two components and a lot of wood to do this. Okay, so he's down there. So let's send Bruno to the bed here, and we will send him to where Marco will work here. So. The reason I sent Bruno to the bed is because he's wounded too, so yeah, he will spend some time recovering. So grab all, and let's get these two. The hatchet, you can actually bring it with you, and this will be a very important tool, especially in the winter time when you need a lot of firewood uh, just to warm up the place. You can send it to uh, places where you have visited, and uh, then you can uh, use that wood to warm the place or building materials because they will become rarer and rarer here. So let's see how many places I can board up there. I can decide to shop off our share there, but I will keep it um, because I don't think it's worth the uh, wood there. So cool. So now uh, we have done that. So let's run. That was all the places we would, uh, I believe. So yeah, we start boarding up here. Yeah, so 
we will have now the cool thing is now that I will after shopping up all my furniture I will have enough to uh, board up the place and you, you kind of use this uh, there are three places you can board up so yeah this is a best time to do it because yeah wood is hard to carry it home yeah remember it takes a lot of backpack slots that I think that's it. that is the mantra we take back, back your planet slots, so don't go around and carry it, it, it yourself if you can avoid it. I think I will uh, send, uh, because um, we are tight on time here, so I will send Bruno too, uh, to board things up here, so... We, we make it so our place is boarded up. This will be the best possible defense you can buy in the game. Almost. It's, okay, cool. So, yeah. So, I said both of them have to work so we can do it today. So, that is awesome defense for tonight. So, let's make. Hopefully, we will be do, do this in time before the day ends 8 o'clock here. Looks like Bruno is down here. Uh, you can't have you can't have two people working at the same time, or at least I don't believe so. Okay, so we are in. Uh, we need uh, more food because we have only uh, one more days uh, of food to feed our people here. So yeah, if we can find food, that will be awesome. So yeah, now we have the good defense here, and uh, that's that's awesome. So now our guys will be have a lot easier. Oh, no, no. No, 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 stop, stop, no. No! I've destroyed our own bed. <laughs> I don't know how, how, how to make him quit, so we have only one bed now. That, that's uh, because of me, it's my fault. Okay, so you can sl sleep in the bed. And you can guard. Okay, cool. So as you can see now, we have a uh, new um, places popped up after visiting uh, visiting uh, the different new a new place here, but construction site. Hmm. There is danger there. Uh, okay, let's read these new places. Construction site. It was supp supposed to be a luxurious residential area, and there was. A great hype on their apartments here, but the developers fled abroad uh, when the war started. Recently, the military wrested control over this area from the rebel. We could scavenge whatever uh, the rebel left behind, but there is a, re a risk uh, encountering military uh, patrols. So yeah, that is a very. We don't want to meet the military. They are super dangerous, especially when they are hostile. Because they have the game's uh, best weapon in the games. So we have a military outpost here. Those who aim at each other during the day often trade with each other at night. These soldiers have a lot of goods they are willing to trade, especially for alcohol or cigarettes. But be careful, you never know what to expect from them. Old Town. Okay, that's it. the old town used to be a, a crucible of cu cultures with its distinct mix of architectural styles and many great grassny, vicini, res re restaurants and pubs. The military positions in the overlooking mountain makes it, may, make it a dangerous place now, but if we take the risk we might find some supplies here. There are no danger there, uh, so maybe we should go there. Let's check the ho hotel. Pogo Grand Travel Agency used to own this small yet luxurious hotel. The owners fled the city just before the siege, along with the foreign journalists who had been staying here. Someone moved in there recently and spread the news that he was willing to barter. Maybe he has something useful to us. I'm thinking of going to Old Town. I'm just curious about this place, uh, just because I've never been there myself. So, let's go there. 
So what do we want to bring on with us? I think a shovel. <laughs> that is the only thing I will take. Uh, okay, so let's go scavenge. Okay. It's empty. It seems empty now, but that, that doesn't mean anything. It could be something really. So we have found some shells. You can actually do enemy uh, ammo by combining shell and gunpowder. You can do uh, at your workshop, but we don't have a firearm yet. Doesn't seem like we are seeing an. Okay, that was a rat. Okay, let's check here what uh, this thing maybe is going to give us uh, a clue. Reinforced door and recent bootprints indicate some people had chosen this building to a refugee before it was hit by a shell. Okay, so it's probably empty as, it, uh, as we, yeah, it's burning there and stuff. I think we are just going to meet rats and stuff here. But let's be careful. Okay, so let's go up here. Let's zoom out a bit. It's a fairly huge area here, so let's go up here first. Yeah, they are not moving like people. Okay, there was nothing there. There seems to be uh, a fridge there, so if you can somehow... I, don't, I think that's just a rat, because it's not move. Okay, there is some bars there. Yeah, so this place looks like a shelter, actually. It's like the kind we have uh, built. <laughs> so yeah, I think I will need to get a saw blade with us. We can create one of those now, if we want to, so... Let's get it. Okay, so there is no way in inside here. Maybe if I run there. Yeah. Okay, it's uh, interesting. We found some cigarettes. And that will help Bruno, but I will not prioritize that, because it's non-essential. You will just get cranky. I can live with that. W weapon parts and gears are... ...probably very useful for us now, so let's get some more ammo. Okay. So we need a lockpick to be able to continue in that way. I don't see another way going down here. So yeah, we, what what do we need to go here? I think we need a saw blade. If we can... Yeah, so we need to go... Uh, I think we need to go back here. And yeah, there is a saw blade here. And the cellar was a blocked door. So let's run back here in the main area. Oh wait, let's check here. There is some more wood. Let's run here. So wood or a cigarette? I'm thinking we will go with wood if we have the choice. Here, cool. So yeah, we will be back here. I think I will bring a lockpick or or the crowbar and uh, yeah, the crowbar and a saw blade. I think that will help us because then we can access this area where there probably is some food we can use. Because we need food, we are. Uh, I think we only have three uh, food left, and that means that yeah, tomorrow we will use some of that. We will use one of those foods, and then we have no food left. Yeah, 
Let's just check it. Oh yeah, it was just sitting there. Yeah. So we salt blade and wood. That would be awesome. Okay, cool. I'm happy with this evening. Uh, I'm really banking on that we will go home back there and find some food. Then that is, otherwise we have soon to have to consider to steal our food. We don't want our guys because if they too hungry and uh, they will, uh, they will actually not perform as great. They will move slower and so on. I wonder if we will be raided tonight. Yeah, so th that was all with the things we uh, got back home there. So that was everything for today's episode. And tomorrow's episode, we will we'll start here on day 8. And as always, thank you for watching. <laughs>